Welcome to my open house video. My name is Will Furiosi, and I've been teaching at Oviedo High School since 2013. I've taught a variety of courses here, including chemistry, AP biology, and our research program. I thoroughly enjoy the scientific process and allowing students to experience the joys and wonders that it brings, while also helping them be highly prepared students and citizens for beyond. My time at Oviedo has been wildly successful, especially in terms of student performance in AP biology and research. And such success led me be, to being named Seminole County District Teacher of the Year in 2021. At Oviedo High School, we offer students the ability to engage in interdisciplinary research through two different course pathway offerings. Your child might be in, enrolled in either one of these two, or maybe even both. Experimental Science Honors, whereby students can take at any time during their high school career without any prerequisites or the second, which is the AP Capstone Program, which is a dedicated two-year program through the College Board in which students learn research techniques and group collaboration in a first-year seminar course while pursuing their own research in a research course with me in their second year. I teach both Experimental Science Honors and AP Capstone Research, doing the former since 2017 and the latter since 2022. Both courses involve a similar framework of conducting a background literature search and proposing a research study in the first quarter, conducting their study in the second, analyzing data and preparing for presentations and papers in the third, and working on college and career prep and future research planning in the last quarter. Consequently, students are enrolled concurrently in the same section. So an experimental science student might be in the same section as an AP research student. However, they both have different expectations given the nature of each course. The biggest difference is the way AP research is guided once students begin their research. Only reflexive questioning is allowed. And the College Board has a requirement of a four to 5,000 word thesis and a 20 minute presentation in oral defense due by the end of April. That consists of their AP exam. In both courses, otherwise known collectively as the big Oviedo research. Oviedo students have been exceptionally successful, winning nearly $400,000 in scholarships and nearly $200,000 in prize money. In fact, Oviedo has had two straight top 40 finalists for the Regeneron Science Talent Search, the nation's oldest and most prestigious research competition. And for AP research, since taking over the course two years ago, my students have, have maintained a perfect 100% pass rate. There are three key dates for all students and parents to keep in mind. The first one is in October. Their proposal for their research study is due at the end of quarter one on October 13th. They are also all expected to present their research on Saturday, February 1st at the Seminole County Regional and Science and Engineering Fair. There's even a category for non-science uh, projects as well. Lastly, and specifically only to AP research, their presentation oral defenses will be held the week of April 22nd. And by the end of that month, their thesis also needs to be submitted for their AP exam. Classroom rules are simple. Students should come prepared to learn and willing to engage each and every day. Asking questions and pottering science is great and deep ideas is what makes this research discipline so enjoyable. Cell phones, therefore, are a hindrance of being able to ponder and enjoy the content especially their individually driven topic, and they must be stowed in their respective containers at all times. Additionally, students are expected to be on time to class, and if not, they will accrue tardies and consequences in accordance with the Oviedo Minga policy. Research is a course focused on long-term deadlines. Time management is absolutely crucial. I do my best to incrementally chunk the longer assignments, but it's up to to the students to not leave their work until the last minute. Keep in mind as well, long-term assignments are due the date that they are due, regardless of whether a student is present or absent on that day. So they definitely have to make sure they keep up on their work. Most of their time will be spent in an unstructured manner, such as reading background literature on their topic, planning and proposing a study, collecting data in that study, and putting it into a tangible, presentable format and reflecting on their research journey. The course utilizes a total point system. It is dependent on the number of graded assignments given, but ultimately a final quarter grade is determined by 80% of the student's current grade 
added to 20% of the student's quarter exam grade. You can see the math below. In research in particular, students are graded mostly on their progress and less so on their performance. So as long as they're keeping up with their deadlines, they should be doing quite well in the course. Students are expected to visit the course page each day and not just look at their to-do list. It gives helpful information about what was discussed in class and also what's expected for them for homework, especially because not all homework is listed as a to-do list item. If a student is absent, they should check on eCampus first and then follow up with an email letting me know that they will be absent and therefore ask any clarification questions on what they saw. I'm available every day before school at 6.45 a.m. and until at least 3 p.m. after school each day. I ask that students give me at least 24 hours advance notice, especially given the new locked door policy. Research naturally is a course that involves open-ended time. So depending on the student's needs, I may also be able to stay after later in order to help get their research complete. I thoroughly appreciate you taking a visit and I hope you found this session helpful and informative. If you ever need to reach me, email is the best. Please don't use Skyward as this notification system is poor and I'll likely miss it. If you want to follow any research or professional updates of mine, I encourage you to check out the above accounts as well. Thank you and I look forward to having a fantastic year with your child in my class.